we left off here, we had um, copied this data and pasted it down here, and then we highlighted this frequency column and we sorted it from Z to A, which will make it go from highest to lowest. If you want to go lowest to highest, you do A to Z right here. Um, and you'll have to forgive me, I know I am doing a lot of Excel in these videos. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that, but one is that Chapter 2 stuff in particular, making graphs and charts, that's what Excel is designed for. So there's no point in learning how to do a bar graph by hand. There's a lot of point to learning how to do it with a program like this. right? Okay, so we want to make a frequency Pareto chart. Oh, and for the record, we're going to be using Excel in the course, so you might as well learn how to do it now. Um, it, there are going to be more videos up that I'll show you more later, but um, it always helps to start learning it right away, right? Especially when it's technology. Okay, so we want to make this frequency Pareto chart right here. So it's frequency, so I'm going to go back to Excel. I'm going to highlight the frequencies right here. And actually, I can highlight the color and the frequency. I can do the titles too, no problem. Go to Insert, Column, and right here. There we go. And then click on the, the legend. You don't need it. Press Delete. Make it go away. And you can call this the Frequency, oops, I double clicked there, Frequency Pareto Chart of M and M Colors. Um, then you need to put in titles. So you click on the Layout tab. You go to Access Titles. And this is M and M color. Oops, I, I must not have clicked on it. My fault. There we go. M and M color. Axis title, vertical axis, rotated display. This will be frequency. Cool. All right, now I'm going to go in, click, click, and change all these colors around with my little paint bucket. Right click and there we go. I'll be right back. For the record, this color orange and this color brown are not available in the regular menu. I actually had to go to the more fill colors and like find an orange that I liked on the orange scale. So it's up to you. You could also do the standard. If you right click, um, I was in the custom menu, but you can go to standard menu and see like, you know, this color or, you know, whatever. That might be an easier way to do it. I'm going to cancel because I like the color I've got. All right, there they are, frequency Pareto chart. Ta-da! All right, now if you want to make a relative frequency Pareto chart, you do the same thing, right? Except you can use control click. So you highlight the colors, lift up on the mouse, all right? They're all highlighted. Then you press control, you click on relative frequency and highlight those. Then you can lift up on the mouse and then lift up on the control button and you can insert a graph like that. Delete the relative frequency, etc. All right, let me, let me change all the titles and stuff. I'll be right back. You know, it, it occurred to me I want to show you another way, kind of a cheating way. Are you ready? So I'm going to highlight on this graph. I'm going to control C, i.e. copy. You can click copy up here. And then I'm going to go click anywhere else on the graph or on the chart and say control V, i.e. paste. And there's a frequency. See, same one as I already did. Frequency, frequency. And then you can see, when you're clicked on the graph, you can see over here, it's got the purple for the category names, it's got the blue for the um, frequencies. So if you make it kind of this double-edged, or see, it's like a four-point arrow, you kind of go to the edge with the blue box. So it begins that four-pointed arrow. You press down with your left mouse button and drag it over to the right and lift up. It automatically changes it. Look at that. Those are decimals. So that's kind of a, a fast way. And then I can go in here and type relative frequency. I just kind of clicked in the name. Or you could click on the name and just retype the whole thing, whatever. And then I'm going to go click in here. I'm going to click in front of that F and type relative frequency. There we go. So that's kind of it. It's not really it's not really cheating, but it's it's a little bit cheating, right? So um, we, we cheated a little bit in order to get out of having to do so much work because I just didn't feel like doing all those colors one more time. All right, so we've done that. Now what was the mode? It's still orange, right? It's still the highest bar on the graph. Now what is the difference between a Pareto and a regular? Well, we'll have to wait on that till next video. See you then.